dear students today you are going to study about the adaptation adaptation is derived from latin language adapto means to adjust the environmental conditions within an habitat may not be favorable for living organisms to live so they have to make some necessary changes they have to uh, develop some special characters in order to live comfortably within the habitat so these special characters or changes made by organism so that we call it as adaptation adaptation is defined as special characteristics evolved or developed by the organisms in order to live successfully and comfortably under the prevailing set of environmental conditions adaptations are special characters that are evolved or developed by the organisms why to live comfortably and successfully under the prevailing set of environmental conditions adaptations importance what is the significance importance of adaptation adaptation makes the organism fit to its environment first significance it makes the organism fit to its environment or habitat and another it increases the survival chances of survival and reproduction it makes the organism fit to its environment habitat and increases the chances of survival and reproduction adaptation may be morphological physiological comma biochemical or even we can also find behavioral adaptation more adaptation might be morphological physiological or biochemical even sometimes it might be behavioral morphological external features some external features might be changed or some special features so external features might have evolved to adjust towards its external environment physiological that is some changes might be seen within the body functions and biochemical adaptation involves having some special biochemical means what some enzymes protein some special enzymes or proteins will be produced by the individuals even adaptations might be both genotypic and phenotypic so it might be both genotypic and phenotypic so now i will explain with examples
animal adaptation to water scarcity and heat water scarcity and heat are found in in a deserts zeri conditions zeri habitats like deserts in a deserts we can find high temperature that is heat as well as scarcity of water for this what are the main adaptations made by the organism first is reduce water loss from the body and second is to tolerate the heat or airy condition so regarding these two that is how to store the water or reduce water loss from the body and tolerate airy condition regarding this we are taking an example of can zeri condition like deserts it is found in north american desert where temperature is high as well as scarcity of water so how does this animal kangaroo rat overcome the the uh, scarcity of water and heat 90% of water requirement by the kangaroo rat is met through internal fat oxidation ninety percent of its water requirement is met through internal fat oxidation ninety percent of Ninety percent of water requirement. It is met through how? It is internal fat oxidation. That is, fat will be metabolized and produces water. Water is produced. as by product water is produced as by product another 10% of water requirement is met through diet diet means the food it on what it feeds on the kangaroo rat feeds on nuts and the grains so from that it gets the water the moisture present within the food from that it gets the water so 90% of water requirement is met through internal fat oxidation where water is produced as by product and another 10% of water is got from the food it feeds on and other adaptations during the day time it is found in burrows during day time it is found in the burrows to overcome arid conditions that is heat so these are the adaptations made by kangaroo rat
another example it is camel a zebra cannibal it is known as ship of desert what are the special adjustments made by the camel to survive in desert condition it has a hump on its back hump a uh, adipose tissue which is present when our body requires water the fat will be metabolized and water is being produced and also it has a capacity there is presence of hum and produces concentrated urine urine as well as feces to conserve the water within its body and how to overcome the heat arid condition it has long limbs which protects the body from the heat produced by the sun it has long limbs to protect its body from the heat released by the sun so these are some of the adaptation made by the zebra animal that is camel next plant adaptations to water scarcity and heat the plants that grows in deserts are called as xerophytes plants that grows in deserts are called as zero fights what will be the adaptation made by zero fights how they can conserve the water within the plant body or reduce water loss from the plant body presence of thick layer of cuticle presence of thick layer of cuticle where over the leaf surface or there is a presence of thick layer of fat presence of sunken stomata presence of sunken stomata what is stomata stomata are microscopic structures present on the leaf surface upper or lower surface so stomata are involved in a process called transpiration what is transpiration loss of water in the form of vapor so they have to conserve store the water within the plant body so in these xerophytes stomata is present in a deep pit and is called as sunken stomata and when there is a presence of cuticle over the leaf surface so stomata will be covered which checks the rate of transpiration water loss from the plant body in some xerophytes there is a presence of a gap pathway presence of gap pathway crassulation acid metabolism what is meant by crassulation acid metabolism 
you all generally know you know that generally in plants stomata opens during the day time and closes during the night time but in some xerophytic plants which have a camp of pathway crassulation acid metabolism in such plants stomata opens during the night time and closes during the night time a means to conserve the water within the plant body leaf modified into spines in case of the xerophytic plants like acacia where leaves are modified leaves are modified into spines what for the adaptation it is means of conserving the water within the plant body and stem is modified into a flattened structure called as phyllocalate so these are some of the adaptations generally found in the xerophytic plants plant adaptations to aquatic environment the plants which are found in water water bodies moist habitats they are called as hydrophytes they are called as hydrophytes what are the adaptations made by the hydrophytes presence of aerochyma aerochyma is a type of parenchyma tissue found in the hydrophytes which provides buoyancy to the plant body xylem elements are reduced xylem elements are reduced why because the xylem it is a vascular tissue it is a water conducting tissue so these are the hydrophytes are the plants found in water so no need of water conducting tissue roots may be present or absent in some roots are absent if it is present it is very poorly developed or when it is present we can find instead of root caps there is a presence of root pockets root pockets are found in the plants like pistia as well as icophormia and leaf surface is reduced and leaves are 
bisect pair. So we can find dissected leaves are present like hydrilla. Why the leaf surface leaves are not brown? Because to protect from the water current. So in some we can find dissected leaf. Leaf surface is being reduced. And plant body is covered by hydrophytes. Plant body is covered by mucilage. There is a presence of mucilage. So these are the adaptations found in the hydrophytes. Physiological adaptation you are going to now study. For that example is altitude sickness. When a person moves to a high altitude experiences a condition of sickness is called altitude sickness. When a person moves to a high altitude place experiences a condition of a sickness is called altitude sickness. As we the human beings moves towards a high altitude place body suffers from a type of a condition a disease called as altitude sickness why due to the low atmospheric pressure the body does not get enough oxygen and that condition faced by the body that we call it as altitude sickness. The name itself tells altitude, height. Altitude means height. As we move towards a greater height, a body suffers from a condition of a sickness and is called as altitude sickness. Why altitude sickness is seen? Only due to the body does not get the enough oxygen. And we can find the some symptoms within the body. Rota pass. It is a place located at a height of greater than 3500 meters high. At that great height, as we move, so that time we find some symptoms. So symptoms of altitude sickness, it is nausea, fatigue and heart palpitation. Nausea, fatigue and heart palpitation. These are the symptoms. Symptoms of altitude sickness. Now, vomiting sensation. You might have experienced when you move towards, when in holidays you move towards a hill station 
okay climbing the mountain as a bus moves okay so you will experience a vomiting sensation fatigue tiredness heart palpitation irregular beating that is increase in the heart beat so these are some of the symptoms but after some moment we can find body body will be adjusted to that condition environmental condition what are the adaptations made by the body biochemical adaptation some special enzymes proteins bio yes biochemicals will be developed produced by the individuals which are found in extreme harsh conditions some example regarding the biochemical adaptation it is organisms 
which are found in Antarctic regions where temperature is below 0 degrees. Antarctic waters where temperature is 0 or sub 0 level below 0 degrees. So, the fishes or animals found in Antarctic waters animals which are found in Antarctic waters where the temperature is below 0 degrees they have antifreeze proteins and glycerols due to the presence of antifreeze proteins it prevents the freezing of body fluids and even there are the fishes which are found at a greater depth within the oceans where the pressure is high than the atmospheric pressure outside the waters. So how will the organisms be found in that condition where the pressure is so high? So they are also having some special enzymes. Behavioral adaptation. Adaptation in the behavior of an organism to escape environmental stress is called behavioral adaptation. Adaptation in the behavior of an organism to escape environmental stress is called behavioral adaptation. Example for the desert lizard. When the surroundings of this animal desert lizard temperature increases. When temperature starts increasing, the desert lizard will be found in shades in the burrows. So where it can maintain its body temperature. When the surrounding environmental temperature falls below its comfort zone, that time it comes out of the burrows and it will bask in the sun. Bask meaning it will expose its body to the sun by which it can absorb the heat and increase the body temperature. It shows thermoregulation how? By behavioral adaptation. So when the temperature falls down below the comfort zone, it will come outside and absorb the heat, bask in the sun. And when the temperature increases above the comfort zone, it will be found in the shades. So, adaptations seen in the behavior of an organism. What for? To escape out of environmental stress. There are even some adaptations seen regarding the thermoregulation. Some adaptation regarding thermoregulation. How can the animal conserve the heat cannot be escaped to the surrounding environment. Ellen's rule. What does Ellen's rule tells? 
mammals of colder regions mammals of colder regions have short extremities they have short extremities than the mammals of warmer region mammals of colder climates have short extremities than the mammals of warmer region what are these extremities that is mammals uh, which are found in colder climates temperate climate temperate regions so they are having short ears ear pinna stout tail and the legs why because external environmental condition is uh, is uh, cold lower temperature body may, may tend to lose the heat to the surroundings so they have the short ears to minimize the heat loss from the body so they are having shorter extremity and that law is called as allen's rule in polar regions you know that in polar region temperature is zero or sub zero animals like the seals animal like seals they have thick layer of fat which is called as blubber below their skin there is a thick layer of fat called as blubber which acts as insulator provides insulation that is acts as insulator yes which will prevent heat loss to the from the body to the surrounding environment camouflage what is meant by camouflage it is also a means of adaptation ability of an organism to blend with its surroundings ability of an organism to blend with its surroundings is called camouflage you all know chameleon chameleon is an best example to change for changing its the best example for changing its body color similarly frogs and insects show camouflage why what for we can find this camouflage because to protect from the predators to protect themselves from predator see here whenever they find their predators they ch immediately change their body color which will match to, to its surroundings by which predator cannot easily identify its prey so by which the prey will be protected from its predator mimicry it's also a, another adaptation ability of an organism to behave like another ability of a uh, one animal or one organism to behave like another organism means one animal will imitate the other so one animal will imitate the another animal or another organism insect leaf insect yes we can find stick insect here we can find two individual one is called as mimic and another is called as model one which imitates is called as mimic and another which is being imitated that is called as model 
organism. Ecological niche. The term ecological niche was first given by Greenell in nineteen seventeen. What is meant by ecological niche? The habitat together, habitat together, the functions. of a species is called ecological niche or one more definition a role a species plays in its habitat a role a species plays in its habitat role means activities of an organism or a species yes activities carried out by a species within its habitat that is called as ecological niche so important here within within its habitat what will be the activities made by organism that we call it as ecological niche example lion and deer lion and deer where are they found its both habitat is forest lion it is a carnivore deer is herbivore carnivore and herbivore represents the ecological niche of lion and deer so carnivore it is it tells that lion is feeding on another animal herbivore it feeds on the plants so it is telling the activities the role of a species with a next habitat likewise tadpole and frog Tadpole is herbivore, and frog is carnivore. So, herbivore and carnivore of the tadpole and frog, what we tell, it represents the ecological niche. According to E. P. Odom, according to E. P. Odom. Habitat is address of a species and ecological niche is the profession. profession of a species so role a species plays within its habitat so what will be the activities made within a uh, made by the species within its habitat we call it as ecological niche so two species having same ecological niche cannot survive together Where, what happens there occurs a competition and a weaker one might be eliminated okay so they can be lion and deer can be present in same habitat but 
two herbivore species cannot be present within a habitat for long duration there arises a competition and weaker one will be eliminated so till here you have all studied about how an organism will respond towards a changing external environment and how to live comfortably so for that what it makes some necessary changes that we have studied as adaptation and next part of the chapter it is regarding the populations so you study about population ecology that is population attributes growth models and population interactions